Saturday morning coffee. Actually, it's coffee and iced tea. Okay, so where would you put an altar in your home? Anywhere. Like I said, um, we have our healing altar. This one is right inside the front door. Whereas my reading altar is where I need it, near my reading space. The divine feminine, this altar could be anywhere. Um, so uh, really, you want an altar where you need that sacred energy. Now, one of the things I would say about that is not everybody is in tune with our sacred energy. And so sometimes for an altar, you may want it very private. My husband, David, when he was living, uh, he was helping out his uh, guardian um, at, at one point, and he was living in her, her spare bedroom uh, after her husband died. And um, he had an altar with a Buddha in it and some other things. And he built it, he built an altar for it with closing doors. And so because when he knew that she would come in and, and as he was doing like mothers do, would clean the room, you know, he didn't want to present her with something that might make her uncomfortable in her own home. So he had doors on his altar, and when he would leave, he would just close those doors. And sometimes for an altar, you may want to have, maybe it's a very private altar, and you may not want it right where everybody's going to be walking by it. Or maybe you have little kids and they can't keep their hands off your pretty pretties. And so you may want to put that altar in your bedroom or someplace sacred. So where an altar go goes is basically where do you want that sacred space?